Hey, Real Estate B-School community, Lars Hedenborg here, founder of Real Estate B-School, and I am excited today to go through probably one of the biggest breakthroughs I've had in uh, in my business has been in the area that I'm going to go through today. Before I go get into it, um, I've got to unpack our mission because it's, it's everything uh, I work toward in this coaching program and, and in what we do, even in the content that we give out to the community. And our community is growing. It's about, um, I, I got to say, it's about close to 20,000 now that just sort of exist in the B-School community, which is awesome. So really just want to keep delivering content and valuable content to all of you. Um, if there's ever an opportunity to serve you at a higher level, um, all of these emails and all of our posts have a button to basically uh, get on the call, get on a call with us for a free coaching session. So make sure you take advantage of that when the time is right. In the meantime, we will serve you at the highest level. So the mission is clear. It's to build a highly profitable business through the use of sustainable systems and empower people to systematically increase your net worth and time away from the office. Okay, it's all about time and money freedom. That is what we're doing at Real Estate B-School. So one of my mentors uh, tells us, Tony Robbins, one reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. And I know that is not you if you are consuming this stuff, right? Real Estate B-School is real estate business mastery. So the, the tool that we're going to unpack today is our core values developer. And I do think this is a, an extremely misunderstood but super critical business principle. If you're following along in the toolbox, so this is the new toolbox. If you check out realestatebschool.com, you'll see the entire toolbox and, and the process and the model that we follow. There's six key drivers. Um, really cool the way we've laid out here. Um, but we are. Uh, this is about walking the talk and real versus preached core values. And so as a leader in your business, you can't say one thing and do another, right? Your people will see what you're doing. You know, then they'll know you're not walking your talk. You must inhabit your core values. Saying you value something is not the same thing as, as feeling it in your DNA. The best leaders don't preach. They lead by example. And you have to commit to living your core values every day. When I first put my core values together, that wasn't the case. It was uh, copied from a few other businesses and partly barred from a book that I had read, uh, The Traveler's Gift by Andy Andrews. And it, it wasn't who I was and it wasn't who my team was. Um, you have to proactively seek out your personal blind, blind spots or your blind spots as a leader on a daily basis. That is tough to take inventory on yourself on a daily basis um, and your own failures and, and own your failures. And this is something that I've made some decisions on my team that, that weren't good and I've always consistently owned those. And you must live and breathe your core values in all that you do including hiring, firing, rewarding, and coaching. So you know, right now, if you have a sort of set of core values, but they don't come into your hiring practices at a deep level, or you're firing, or you're rewarding people, or you're coaching people, you do not have core values that are part of your business. So what are core values? First of all, they obviously aren't copied from someone else, another business, or taken from a book, but they're deeply ingrained principles that guide all of your actions. And they're cultural cornerstones. So they live and breathe in your, in your business. And you cannot compromise your core values either for convenience or short-term economic gain. And they're the source of your distinctiveness. So they're different for every business. And you have to maintain your core values at all costs. Um, real quick, I want to go into different types of values. So this is the mistakes people make is that a lot of times they say, you know, I want to be this, right? So that's aspirational. But it's not who you are. It's not what may, makes you sort of makes up the DNA of your business. And then there are permission to play values, which, you know, we, we have to, uh, tr you know, trust and mutual respect is a core value. Eh, not really a core value. It's just like you got to be a good person. That's a permission to play on the team. And accidental values is that, well, I, I, my team is a Silicon Valley, Valley, Valley and we wear jeans and a T-shirt. And then so casual attire you know, or a casual atmosphere, casual atmosphere or laid back approach to real estate is a core value. Uh, not really. That's just accidental. It's, it's, you can't, you know, not hire people onto your team because they don't fit um, that. And taking on an initiative with your core values has nothing to do with building consensus. You're imposing a set of fundamental strategically sound beliefs on a broad group of people. 
Um, and it may be an un uncomfortable process. You have to uh, brace yourself for that. So the large group core values are simple. And I hire by these. We fire by these. We uh, review our staff and agents by these. And uh, we also coach people by these if they're not hitting the core values. Number one, we hustle and work hard. We embrace accountability and discipline, number two. Number three, we have a positive attitude. Number four, we have a growth mindset. Number five, we create raving fans. And those are part of who we are. So what are your takeaways and action items? Are you ready for a coaching session? So if you're ready for a free coaching session, click on the link below and we will add as much value as we possibly can during a 45-minute coaching session. Um, so take action right now on either the, the, the subject of core values and, and really get a meaningful set of core values in your business um, or take action and book a coaching session. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.